Charlie, because I felt like there wasn't a book out there, especially for children, that really talked about the themes of inclusion, acceptance, and really understanding what autism was. Working with my mom on this book was really fun because I actually learned a lot about autism and how kids can be when they have autism because sometimes it's harder to communicate with other people. My children helped me a lot with this book. Obviously, I was inspired by, by my journey uh, with my oldest son, who's Ryan's twin brother. When my husband and I were really struggling with the fact that our son was really having a hard time making friends, really getting ostracized at school, and kids just didn't understand him, we knew we had to intervene and do something. It takes a lot of courage for someone to go up to a kid with autism and say, hey, do you want to play with us? And they can actually be a really good person but they just have a really hard time making friends. So. I was really nervous about coming down and really laying on the table to the kids in the class what was going on with our son. But when the day came for us to go down there, Ryan gave me a list. And this list was, here's some bullet points about what you do and what you don't do. Number one, don't embarrass us. Number two, make it a level playing field. Ask the kids, what are you really good at and what are you not so great at? One kid said, I'm really great at soccer, but I'm terrible at math. And we said, well, RJ can tell you every single name of every U.S. president in order. He can tell you every player in the NBA on every single team. But he's terrible at making friends. But to see them sort of, you know, this sort of look come over their faces where they realize, wow, he can do that? And so once we explained to the kids that his mind is just wired differently, they became fascinated with him. The play dates start coming, friends and sleepovers start happening. And I really had to thank Ryan because you were the one that gave me the idea to talk to these kids and just explain things. And that inspired my brother Charlie, um, talking about the things that Charlie does so well, but there are things that he doesn't do so well. Just because the kid has autism doesn't mean that you should mistreat them. Anyone would be lucky to be Rodney's friend, so. I, my real great hope for, for everyone reading My Brother Charlie is to understand how amazing these children are. They are valuable in our society. And we need to lift them up, and we need to teach ourselves about what's going on with them. Not so much the other way around.